Welcome everyone, today we are taking a look at the Winko plastic coated 14 inch pastry bag. I love churros. And making churros is a very easy way to destroy your reusable pastry bag. To show you what I mean, this is what's left of my previous one. A reusable plastic pastry bag that just popped as soon as I tried to pipe some pastry dough through it. That's why I looked at switching to these um, cloth based pastry bags that are supposed to be a bit more rigid. And this Winko pastry bag, it just doesn't disappoint. Interestingly enough, this is way cheaper than this one was. Way cheaper, only about a dollar a piece. In this video, I'm going to be covering three parts. First, I'm going to go over the specifications. Second, I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm actually going to pipe some churro dough through this. And third, I'm going to go over a couple of features and things I really like about this item. Moving on to some measurements, you can see that the overall length of the pastry bag comes into about 14 inches, though that depends a little on how high up you cut your tip. The width of the pastry bag comes in at 8 inches. You might notice there are a few blemishes on this pastry bag, that's because I've already used it a few times. Out of the box it came perfectly clean. Over here we have a loop that we can use to hang it. I like to use this for drying it after I've washed it, it goes a little bit faster. And on the inside, it's coated with polyurethane. This makes it so it's a little easier to clean. Our pastry dough is ready, and now we're going to get into this pastry bag. One trick I like to use, line the inside of your pastry bag with a plastic bag. These are your typical grocery store plastic bags. That way, you can just take it out, toss it in the trash, and rinse this off even quicker. Once the pastry dough is in here, we'll start piping it. Alright, we are ready to start piping these out. As you'll notice, I'm using a standard size nozzle instead of the larger oversized ones. That's because when you do oven churros, this makes it a little easier to get them dried out properly. So let's begin. And while my arms are going to be a little tired at the end of this, I think the pastry bag will hold up just fine. I'm spacing them about half an inch apart because when uh, we bake these, they're gonna expand. And that should do the trick. I'm going to put these in the oven. It's going to take at least 30 minutes or so. And I'll come back after and we'll see how they turn out. These are looking incredible. The trick with oven churros is to make sure that they're cooked through and fully dry on the inside. You hear that snap? That is exactly what we're looking for. From here, it's easy. We're going to get our churros into the bowl. And add a little bit of cinnamon and powdered sugar on top. Gotta toss these together a little bit and now they are ready to eat. Moving on to the last aspect of our video, functionality. My favorite part about this item, it's very durable. As you saw, no trouble at all piping those churros. I've also used this for lighter tasks like eclairs and it works great there as well, but it really shines for those really tough doughs. Second, it's really, really easy to clean. You just run this under the sink for two minutes or so and everything washes off. The coating works very well for cleaning. And to sum things up, if you're looking for a heavy duty pastry bag, something that you can use for those tougher jobs with those pastry doughs, I've gotten some great results with this. Highly recommend it. And it's really cheap too. Only about a dollar for the 14 inch one. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to get them answered for you.